Rapid global mobility depends on the Air Force's ability to put gas in the tanks of fighter jets and other planes while they're still flying. It's called aerial refueling, and the boom operators who do this job have to go through months of intense and expensive training to get ready for the real thing. But before they get a chance to work the big gas pump in the sky, boom operator trainees spend a lot of time learning down here in a high-tech weapon system trainer they call the Boust. Now, they may not look like much on the outside, but for the Air Force, these big boxes mean big bucks in terms of cost savings. Officials here estimate that for every flight replaced by a simulator training mission, the Air Force saves about $50,000. That's because one training flight can burn up tens of thousands of gallons of jet fuel. With hundreds of training flights each year, the cost of fuel alone is, well, have you seen gas prices lately? But there's no flying in the Boust. It just feels like it. Claustrophobes beware. With the Boust, we can eliminate flights uh, that the students were prior previously using, saving the gas, maintenance time uh, with the planes, and then going straight into the Boust doing all the training in there as far as feeling what the actual plane, the boom, uh, all the stick fill feels like. It feels more like the real plane. You kind of get that feeling of actual turning uh, when the jet's turning for the, uh, the rendezvous. Your eyes and your ears are basically telling you that you're turning, so you're feeling that movement, even though the, the bounce isn't actually moving. Now, the Boust is by no means the first air refueling simulator, just the latest. Boom Ops used to train on a system that looks a lot like an arcade game. And speaking of games, who can forget the frustration of trying to refuel in Top Gun? Gosh. Ah, got it. Uh, but anyway, virtual reality has come a long way, and the Boust is so realistic that it's being used to replace 11 actual flying hours in a trainee's certification course. I think it's pretty comparable. And when I'm actually in there doing my checklist, uh, watching the receiver come up, it's very similar. Um, I feel a lot of the same effects, like your situational awareness has to be the same. You know. You pick up on different cues, so the flying, of course, there's nothing like it, but the sim really prepares you for it. I'm on this guy. Another way this system saves time and money, the instructor can load up any air refuelable plane into the simulation. It gives trainees a chance to gas up anything from a B-2 bomber to Air Force One. But perhaps the best thing about training on the Boust is knowing you're not going to poke a pilot in the eye with a gas pump at 500 miles an hour. Yeah, knowing that it's not gonna run into you <laughs> or anything like that, or yeah, break something, snap off an antenna, or go through a windshield, anything like that. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's really nice. And that's peace of mind you can't put a price on, even with a system that's saving the Air Force millions. Tech Sergeant Nicholas Kurtz, Altus Air Force Base, Oklahoma.